so thank you. This is like my second or third event I go to after being in prison, so I, maybe I treat you a bit like I treat other people now. So I have written a text, and I'm going to read it for you. It might be boring, but I hope that you get what my message. There's a few big moments in life where you feel that something moves you deeply. Graduating school, getting your first kiss, writing that first book, publishing that first scientific document, maybe a loved one died, getting your first customer in your cafe. Some of them might seem small and trivial to others, but to you they're huge and life altering. Recently I got a similar feeling, a feeling that we reached a certain critical mass, a critical mass that are upset with the current state of the internet, no, the current state of pulsing the internet and what it promises the world. A critical mass that finally understands that we're on the way to a broadcast democracy with little peer involvement. What happened? Well, the Pirate Bay was shut down. It tilted people's brain into knowing that tomorrow their favorite TV shows must be downloaded somewhere else. They thought, that, they thought about it a bit and decided this is the beginning of a slippery slope. They understand that maybe this means that alternative content might be hard to ever reach, if at all. That this thing that was centralizing the internet, having just a handful of centralized services, mostly owned by a company in, in one single country, a country that does not care about borders when it comes to their own office, is not maybe a great idea. A movement is forming, a movement away from this, and tomorrow when you wake up, it will climax into a whole bunch, maybe even a whole million of people, that will see the group stop destroying the internet, or give us the pirate bay back on Facebook. And you will all click the like button, and you will feel proud. You finally did it, you stopped the internet from being destroyed. But of course, this will not change anything. The internet will keep getting destroyed. It will keep becoming more and more centralized. You can't do anything anymore. We tried, we sucked at it. The few people that really did anything are now old, some are even dead. The young ones believe in the system and try to change it from within. It's like trying to beat capitalism by trying to capture all of the money. Every now and then, we win a fight against one of the oppressive new measures, like we did with ACTA and SOPA and FIFA. We congratulate ourselves on being important. In essence, we just lost 10 other battles that we didn't even know about. We have our own celebrities. We had WikiLeaks, we had Snowden, we had Manning, we had Aaron Swartz. Some are dead, some are in jail. Some are in hiding, scared for their actual lives. What people reveal, what people fight for, are major causes. Freedom of information, liberty, democracy, governmental transparency and due process, things we take for granted that are the basis for a modern state society. We talk about it a lot, we're upset, we cry, we scream, sometimes we protest, we have t-shirts, we have our symbols, we have our masks, our conferences, our transmediales, we have debates, we even get detention. People in general like us, our opponents are old fat bastard or corporate sellouts. They're mostly rich men from the United States of America. They're super corrupt, they're easy to hate, it's like any good Hollywood movie. But we've all been fooled, we lost, there is no need in fighting anymore. We lost a long time ago by cornering ourselves. There's no use to struggle. There's no point in being positive. The only positive thing about it all is that we no longer have to worry. It's all predetermined. It's all a waste. There's no more any we or us. We're becoming drones. Mind or without, it does not matter. We built the system. We trusted it because we trusted ourselves. We are all drones. Maybe we always be that. As Christopher just mentioned, is I was recently locked up. I was kidnapped, kidnapped by the Kingdom of Sweden for trying to resist. I did right, both legally and morally, the Kingdom was wrong. We all knew it, but I was a fool to think that right and wrong had anything to do with it all. Morals are no more, they've been replaced by control. Right is just a word that no longer has any meaning. It's a trick to keep people from being scared. Until you reach the edge, you believe in the system, even though people know in the back of their minds that they don't want to look over the edge. We all praise the internet for the liberty it brings, but it's become the essence of what's wrong. We praise technology almost like a savior, but it's the thing that keeps us in check. We show the examples of good things we've achieved with technology, with the internet, with leaking, with sharing, but it does not hold its merits. There is no long-term effect. Globalization by virtue of capitalism is one. We talk about robots and technology taking our jobs, as if jobs had a higher goal in themselves besides what needs to be done. But when building these computerized and automatic systems, we created new jobs. And all of these new jobs are based in technology. And, and they feel so free in the Western world. It's almost like you never at work. We even have our offices at home. We're always connected. We're happy to get to work with our friends. We don't see that we're becoming robots that work all the time, only associate with our coworkers, and that we don't have any free time anymore. We 
We don't need robots, we are them. We are no longer in between jobs, we are in between startups. We talk about startups and entrepreneurship as the future, as if it's something new. We outmaneuvered ourselves into believing that alone means strong. Who ever heard about a startup going on strike against their customers over their bad working conditions? We're fucking up the work done by the unions for past centuries. For the promise of self-fulfillment, sourdough bread, cool bicycles, and cheap apartments in Kreuzberg with second-hand IKEA furniture. <laughs> the same furniture I recently discovered firsthand is made by forced laborers in Swedish and German prisons, by the way. There's no point in fighting. Whatever you think you can contribute, it's wrong. Life is not pointless, but trying to alter the content and path of life is futile. We're all privileged and super lazy. We never talk about revolutions anymore, except when creating a new hipster fixed bicycle wheel that would change the world. A term which today is slang for getting 15 minutes of fame through a product. Not you. And no, you're not the product as everyone has been saying about the internet. You're not that interesting. You're only a wall. Call it activism, call it work, call it art, call it whatever you want. I've tried, my friends tried, you all tried, but capitalism won. It's game over. We're too lazy, we're too tired, we're too content. We just want our Nespresso machines and we don't want any responsibility. We blame our politicians even though we like them. The politicians have no say anyhow. It's not about money, it's about the control. And it's not that we're blind. In the Matrix, Neo gets specified. Does he want to live in blissful ignorance or does he want to see the real world? When he decides to leave the Matrix, he wakes up and realizes he's just one of many humans that are being kept as resources. It wakes him up so far that he can't ignore fighting the Matrix. But in our world, we see the issues daily. We see the beggars, we see the gender inequality, we see the rainforest being wrecked, the oil heating the plants, waves being floored. We see our human rights being violated, we see the loss of privacy. We know we're being monitored by cameras and microphones everywhere. We even carry them around ourselves to help our bodies. The leaks from Manny and Snowden has not changed one single thing of essence. We're not blind, we're totally full-sighted and we're awake. It's very telling that for some reason there's even career opportunities in being a manager of human resources. We can't wake up from being awake. This year's Transmediale is named Capture All. For me that phrase might refer to something else than it does for you. But my view is that a few is trying to capture all. They're capturing all the control, all the money, all the information, all the politicians, all the power, even all the sour bread. We're not even trying to stop it, we're actually helping them to do it. And on second thought, they're not trying to capture it, they already did. And as I learned from the movie 1984, the only way to win the game is not to play. But if we have to, it's time we set the rules and recapture all. Thank you. Thanks, Google, being a nice company and all. Um, so that's why we're doing that. 